And away we go. All right. Good morning, everybody. So we left off. Uh, people on Zoom, we? No, 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 it's tied, but I, you know, I'm, I'm in both. All right. Good morning, everybody. Um, ah, so we left off. Uh, in terms of why is one responsible for his fire? So we had an Itamar, uh, we, we introduced the Machlikas between uh, Rabbi Yechan and Rish Lakish. Rish, so, uh, and, then, and then we used it to go ahead and uh, analyze uh, and compare their shitas in different Mishnais or Brises uh, that discussed fire. So basically, the Machlikas is according to Rabbi Yechan, once fire comes from his force, right, from his force. If I if I shoot an arrow, so that arrow is it's literally called chetzio, right? His his arrow, uh, it's the power of his arrow because I shot the arrow. So too, if I set a fire and it naturally goes ahead and uh, catches fire other places, that's my force. And according to Reish Lakish, says no, 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 no. The, your fire, your reason why you're chayiv is because it's your property, it's your mamono, and therefore, so we're going to obligate you if your property does damage, like uh, other things of your property. So that was the machlekes. So. We left off two lines from the top, and away we go. Omar Rava Kashile Labaye. So Rava says uh, Abaye uh, had a difficulty. So Labad Demar Eisha Mushim Chetzio. According to the opinion who holds that one's fire is because of his arrows, i.e., his force. So Tamon Be Eish the Pater Achmana Hechim Mishkachas La. Well, so we have a case. There's a halacha when it comes to Eish. So we'll soon see later on this Masechta that you know we we describe the different types of damage have different uh, um, um, attributes. And one of which is if I see, if I have a fire and my fire damages uh, Levy's bundle of hay and mm-hmm. he has uh, he he went out and he went to an art auction and he bought the Mona Lisa and he hid it in his uh, haystack mm-hmm. so and I burned in the haystack so since it was hidden inside that's not on me so mm-hmm. that's on you and therefore I'm putter from Tamun Beish something which is hidden inside. Uh, and that you know it's not uh, out in the open so I'm putter from that so Hey Shakasla. Um, so Venezuela, in other words, in such a case, right? In other words, it's not my force, right? In other words, in this case, so uh, since I didn't, I, I didn't cause the 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 force to that, right? Um, um, all right. In other words, in this case, so uh, why would he be chayv? So it says Venezuela that he was the one who actually answered Rabbi. He says kagon shenafla delekal aisa chazer. And I was, I said, I went ahead and I set a standard fire in, in my chatzer. The nafla gather. Shalom machas delek. And then the fence fell down, which was really protecting my fire not to go ahead and travel to my neighbor's yard. And that, the fence fell down, nothing to do with the fire. So then went o- over there uh, and caused the damage moved. to another, the fire moved because of the fence. It wasn't my fault of the fence. The fence was there. The awesome. Because over there, really, my arrows stopped. My arrows were only supposed to go up until the fence because that's when I set the fire, that's what it was. So it wasn't real. So therefore, it didn't really travel across. And therefore, it's no longer my force that's causing the tumult to be damaged. And that's why I'm putting. So Gloria says, Ihachi, then Golinami, Kalechatsu. Who left the case? So why is tumult any different than that, which is the haystack itself, right? The haystack itself was no longer my force because the haystack should have been protected by my fence. Which fell down, which was not my fault. Oh. So, bottom line is that according to the one who holds that is because of his arrows, he also holds it is his property too. So, if my property does damage, it's not only because it's my property, but it's also because of my arrows. But if it wasn't for my arrows, like in this case, it really wasn't my force, but it was my property mm-hmm. that went ahead and damaged, and therefore. It'll be like a case where I should have put up a fence and I didn't put up a fence, right? So, um, so in other words, and therefore it'll be like, you know, if I had an ox, Right, and I didn't go ahead and properly fence, so that I, I'm obligated. So to over here, if I have a fire and I didn't go ahead and pro- and, and, and properly protect, you know, others from you know the damage that it would cause. So therefore, I would be chayv. There's a special law when it comes to age the, the, regarding tal, uh, tamun and uh, uh, gal. So it says 
So according now, that which we say, right, that one who has, uh, holds that it is also the power from his arrows also holds to the uh, svara of, he also has mamon. So my benai. So then what is the difference? If you say that Rabbi Yechel and Reish Lakish really both uh, uh, hold on to one another, so what would be the naf, you know? So one of the naf is, to be chayiv in four uh, things. In other words, like this, if something is coming from my kayach, from my chesio, so then we say, so that is like my power, so therefore it's like me causing the damage, and therefore just like if I cause damage to a person, that I would be obligated, in addition to paying the Nezek, I also pay for, for Tsar and uh, Ripui and Boshas Epigam, right? So, so too in this case, so since it's, it's the nature of Chetzio, therefore one would be obligated with those payments, right? What, as Rashi points out, it wouldn't necessarily be Boshas because Boshas is only when it's person to person, but there is no Boshas when it comes to my fire causing damage. But if you hold that, it's called the Nizke Mamon, right? Then, uh, if my animal goes ahead and gores you, I'd only go ahead and pay for the damages. I don't necessarily go ahead and pay for the other four pins. Fine. Two dots. Then we said, al right? For the biscuit, so we had the case of, I had a dog, and the dog went into, uh, uh, and so we don't, we don't really describe the case, but the dog went ahead and grabbed the biscuit, and while he grabbed the biscuit, there was a burning coal there along with it, or the biscuit itself was. You gotta warm it up for the our barista when he gets here. He can still get dressed, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, and so he really did get dressed. We have, we have proof he's getting dressed. So, um, then he carries the biscuit, and then it causes damage. And then the, <clears throat> the Mishnah said, I think the Mishnah was on a couple of days. Let's see if it was there. Yeah. For the biscuit that my dog ate, right? It was Nezek shelling. And for the fire that it said, it's Chatzin Nezek. Right? It's Chatzin Nezek in that case. Now, <clears throat> so, man Chayiv. So, who is the one who is Chayiv for to, to go ahead and pay for the fire? Right? So, Baal Kelev, the owner of the dog. Well, what about the one who owned, right, where he got the biscuit and Lachari got the, the coal from there also? So if my uh, animal went ahead and, and, and took a biscuit that was cooking from Levi and there was a coal with it, and then it set fire to Alan's haystack. So um, we said that the Balakelev, the owner of the dog, which would be me, is Chayim. So, but what about the owner of, the, but Levi owned the coal, right? If there was no coal, then, uh, you know, Alan's, uh, uh, you know, uh, Alan's hay would have been uh, uh, fine. Guarded from the dog. Yeah. Well, so let's see. So maybe he didn't guard properly, you know, so let's see. So, your answer is, Keshishimur Gechaloso, right? Like your answer, no, it was, it was being guarded. Right, the, the the coal was being guarded properly. It was in Levy's backyard, which had a fence, and therefore, since it was in Levy's backyard, it had a fence. It was no responsibility uh, of a Levy. It was really the responsibility of of me. I'm not watching my dog. Zara says, my boy Keller." Right? I understand. So, if it was being uh, uh, you know watched properly, so how did the uh, how did the dog get to it? So, our answer is hasam she Right, my dog went ahead and burrowed underneath, dug underneath his fence, went under Lady's fence, and got the coal and the biscuit, and then brought it and go ahead and set fire to Alan's property. <coughs> and therefore, I am chayiv for my dog acting like that. And because I'm chayiv for acting like that, Samar of Mari Bered Rav Khan, as this seems to say, Sam Delatois, Chaturo is Hein Eitzel Kelov. That any doors or fences, right, is is normal for a dog to go ahead and burrow underneath it. Because if my dog does something unusual, right, like uh, goes ahead and you know picks the lock, let's say let's say my dog went ahead and pick, uh, and picked the, the lock uh, of Levi's fence. So I'm not high because that's that normal behavior for the dog. Who says I should have? That's abnormal behavior. So who says I should have? You know, made sure that my dog didn't know how to pick a lock, right? It's unusual behavior. But since it's saying that. 
uh, going under the fence, I would be chayev. It must be, it's not unusual behavior for a dog to go to burrow underneath the fence. Mm-hmm. And therefore, that's the reason why I'm chayev. So Lauren mm-hmm. says, now, okay. To achla hecha. Now, where is it, uh, uh, now, where did it go ahead and eat this biscuit, right? Hecha. So, if it was in, let's say, uh, let's see, uh, uh, you know, an outside area, right, where the hay is. So, Abba Inan, Ubir, Basada, Cher, Veleka. Right, we have over there that um, why should I go ahead and pay for it? Now we normally have a case of Shane where my animal goes into Lady's yard and eats his stuff, and there says because of beer, it goes ahead and consumes in Lady's yard, and, and therefore I'm chayiv. But over here, if the biscuit is eating, you know, by Alan's yard, so we don't have that, right? Uh, this is not like sweet. So now we're talking about a case where maybe Alan had his haystack, you know, by Levy. And then it went there and he was keeping it there. And then my animal went ahead and took the biscuit there and then uh, ate the biscuit and, you know, put the coal over there by, in Levy's yard, which was where the Gaddish was uh, uh, located and set the fire. So therefore, my animal is consuming, right, is doing shane, right, in the property of where the food was, and therefore I would be chayv. So the Gemara says, now separate case, the tipshit, right, the, the, the pipara, right, so now we're gonna come to the alumnus question, which you would have thought, right? So we had, let's go out, learn out here that the mouth of the cow or the dog in this scenario is kechatzer haniza gum. So even though my dog is eating a biscuit in his mouth, in lady's property, even though the biscuit's in his mouth, it's considered to be in the property of Lady. It's not considered to be in the property of Yoel. Why? Because it's in his mouth, my dog's mouth. Maybe you can say, oh, it's in my dog's mouth. So therefore, it's like in the, in the Rishus of the Masik. And we're soon going to see it's a question of who's, once it's in the mouth, maybe it's considered to be in another Rishus. Because if we'll say once the biscuit enters into the mouth or the airspace of the mouth of the dog of the maz, so therefore it'd be like in my my possession, right? In mazig. So lay malay, my boy, refit the Right? Why is your you know your bread uh, you, you, in my dog's mouth? Right? I should say to Levi, right? Why are you putting things in my dog's mouth? Levi's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> your dog's in my backyard eating my food. Oh, I'm like, well, it's in his mouth. What's he doing in his mouth? So if I could have that. That argument, I could just say, hey, what's your, you know, so it must be that I can't have that argument. And it must be that it's, even though it's in the mouth of my dog, since it's on the property of Levi, it's considered to be the Rishus, the Chatzar of the Niza. The boy, we're in the second line uh, uh, from the top of Chav Gimel Mabez. The boy, there was a question was asked. P. Parah. Yeah, there was a question. The, the mouth of the, once the, the food is in the mouth of the para, is it considered to be the chatz of the nizak, right? Of where the animal is eating from, or in the chatz of the mazik, because it's now in the animal's mouth. And if you, if you say it's in the chatz of the mazik, I got another problem for you. Any case of shame, right? The Torah warns in the case of shame. Lachara, shame means tooth, right? So you're eating, right? So any case of eating in the Torah, right, that my animal goes ahead and breaks into your yard and eats, you can say, I'm potter. It's not in your yard. It's in my animal's mouth, right? So I'm potter. So how would you ever find such a scenario? Some of Mari, Bereda, Avkana, Kigoyim, Shanikha, Bekaisel, Lahanasa, Betanfa, Beperes, Lahanasa. No, you can say it like this. Earlier in the Masech, though, we described that different types of Nazik can have different uh, 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 qualifications, right? And Shane is something that's done, a normal behavior by an animal for its own benefit, right? So he's eating would be one, right? But it's not the only one. Let's say the animal was Chav Kimmel Yeah, my bad, around uh, seven lines from the top. So, um, so my animal is doing normal behavior. Let's say his side uh, is itching, right? So he rubs up against the wall. 
right? He rubs them against the wall for his own, but he's not doing it to damage, right? He's doing it for his own benefit, and it happens to damage the wall. Or he wants to cool down, and he's rolling around in the fruits, right? He wants to cool down, but it's destroying the fruits. It's not doing it to for destroy. It's not uh, right goring or right, you know, trying to you know hurt another animal. It's for its own benefit. It happens to go ahead and, and ruin your fruit, or it happens to go ahead and break your your fence. That's the case of shame. And ironically, so eating my animal going in your yard eating it, according to this, would not be shame, sure. right? Oh, because the, because that no, but that would be in the mouth because well, once exactly. it puts in his mouth, maybe it's in my and therefore I'm not doing something in your because it's in the mouth of the, of the animal right. right so therefore it would only the only case of shame would be would not be eating would be let's say the animals rubbing up against the wall or, or, or trying to do something else for its own benefit but not eating because once it eats it's considered to be in the in, in the property of the mass so this this makes sense so we have a qualification from Pasuk Malach. It says, really, you need that to go ahead to be destroyed until the end. So I understand by eating is a classic case of shame. Why? Because when you eat it, you destroy it completely by, you know, by consuming it. But over here, what, you know, complete destruction is going with the, the fence or the payros. But lacking, you don't have that here. So if you Omar, the shop tell me, right, that it, it rubs up against the fence so much that there was a, a beautiful mural, a mural or something, you know, on it, or etched, and the animal broke that part. Ramashi says, or, you know, it completely, you know, put the, you know, uh, you know, push the fruits back into the ground. And therefore, it was like it was treaded upon. And therefore, the fruits are unusable. It's completely destroyed. So, Tashma, tell and listen, around the quarter of the way down. She's a Sakelev, but she's a Nafash, Patu. If one who goes ahead and incites a dog or incites a snake, and the, the dog goes out and causes damage, or the snake goes out and causes damage. Potter. He's Potter. So man Potter. So who's Potter? So he says, Mishasa Potter, Vachai of Balkel. The inciter, right? If I go ahead and I incite Eddie's dog, so Eddie is Potter, Vachaira, right? Excuse me. The inciter, I am Potter for inciting his dog. Vachai of Balkel, and Eddie, who owns the dog, is now Chayiv for his dog's actions, even though I was the one who riled it up. And if you say, wait, if something goes in the mouth of an animal, it's considered to be now in the possession of the Mazik, right? Right? Why is your arm in my dog's mouth, right? Yigal gets bit by uh, Eddie's dog. So, uh, and then you go say, okay, Eddie, you got to go ahead and, and pay damages because your dog bit me. So Eddie will say, well, why is your your hand in my dog's mouth? So therefore, if you if you hold that once it goes in the mouth, it's just the mazik. Let him say that. I mean, it's a chiddush because that, that wouldn't be right. shame. Shame is beer b'seachah. Right, right, right. right. Like so if someone right. comes so into the, my house and right. my dog so, bites so them, the, right? So the smart, right, because if he gets bit anywhere, which is a robin, it would be the yeah. same thing, right? So over here, and, but it doesn't do with shoes, but it knows the same argument. We'll soon see that the same, same argument can be uh, can be said with uh, a different, couple of different halachas by being mazik, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, that's not a case of sure. That's a case of well, that's what he just said. Well, that, but that's what Levi was just saying. Oh yeah, maybe we're saying he was Jared. Right, and I was right. I was. It shouldn't make a difference where it is, but the whole point is, well, but if something is going, but if 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 you want, or if Yiga walks in, whose dog was it? It was your dog, right? Right. Yeah. If uh, if Yiga walks into your yard and your dog bites him, right, right, then 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 you're put. Right. In other words, what are you doing in my yard? Right. So maybe you can use the same right. Svara right. Is, right. what is your it's arm it's doing it's in my dog's mouth? Because the reshus of the dog's mouth is the same place as your back as the Mazik's backyard. But if this dog is in my yard, then my yard. That, that for sure. Right. But even that, even if it was in your yard, maybe you can have go to the extreme Svara of saying, well, what is your head doing the, the mouth dog? is already like it's Eddie's, Eddie's cuts there. I.e., his dog's mouth is in your chutzner, <laughs> but that little place is at his chutzner. It's a true shot. Lately, by the way, the Kalbi? So the word says, okay, no, no. Ama Potter, what does it mean? Potter, Ap Meshisa, right? Even the insider knows not only is Eddie Potter, according to Sa as far as, yes, in my dog's mouth, so it's my, uh, the dog's mouth, it's my chutzner, right? So in other words, no, no, it means that even the insider, both people are Potter. 
or be by Seima, you have to, uh, 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 the Navy of Asarte, right? Or you can say over here that really that the dog never bit him, right? The dog never bit him. Rather, its its teeth were outside its mouth, its fangs were outside its mouth, and it caused damage. Therefore, Yigal's arm was never inside the dog's mouth. The dog's teeth came outside of his mouth and then caused the damage from the incitement, and therefore the bal the balkelev would be high. So Tashma, come and listen. He should was an achash. Person goes ahead and incites a uh, a snake. Rabbi Yehuda mechayev. Chayim paitre. Rabbi Yehuda says chayev, and Chayim say pat. So if one goes ahead, oh, excuse me, he should was an achash, right? It's one who goes ahead and he uh, he takes right the teeth, right? He takes the snake. I'm holding the snake in my hand, right? And then I take it to uh, 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 to Avrami's arm. And I, you know, basically, yeah. like, you know, stab him with it, with the, <laughs> and I kill him with the venom. That's fine. You make your own say Potter. According to Rabbi Yehuda, right? Even if you go, she the Rabbi Yehuda who says, "I am Chayiv." Nachash ben Shinov who I make. Right, the aras of the nachash ben shina Right, the venom of the snake are always on the tip of its teeth. Right, it's like a, a, a knife with a poison at the end, and I go ahead and stab him with a knife. So the knife is not doing anything; chooses to release venom or poison. So to the snake, it automatically happens. I stab him. The fichok therefore machish beside. So therefore, the uh, the person who who stab, who did the stabbing is chayv misa. Right, the nachash but the the snake we don't go ahead and kill. The snake didn't do anything, right? Because we know normally if an animal kills, even if it knows chay misa, we kill the animal. The divrei chayim, according to chayim, ares nachash miatzmai amakia. No, is the the. However, according to chayim, the snake has to choose to whether to release the venom. So therefore, that the snake is the one that released the venom into Avrami. You know, I just took it, you know, and put its fangs into uh, Avrami's arm. And then the, uh, the the snake on its own released the fichach. Therefore, nachash b'skila. Therefore, we go ahead and kill the snake because the snake chose to uh, 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 discharge its uh, venom. Stone the snake, right? We stone the snake, right? It might be difficult, but you got to stone it. Umachish pater, and therefore the one who who did it is pater. Now be a martyr. I wouldn't say that. Maybe you have this volition over its venom, right? Correct. And therefore, I really didn't do anything, right? And I was I, I did something, but I, I didn't you know, I could have done the same movement without a Rami Dan. All right. Okay, you poison. We'll say you got better. So now. all right. Be a of the Fatamazik. So now going back to what we said before, if you say the mouth of the cow, or in this case, is the Khatzik is, is like you know, your hand is now in the rushus of the owner of the snake. So my boy Why is your arm right in my snake's mouth? Right? You shouldn't be there. Therefore, the snake didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, that's what happens when you have your arm in his mouth. So Gamar says, no, katala Right? No, when it comes to killing the animal, that yeah, we don't use this svar. It's only used svar is used in certain places, even according to this says that the P uh, 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 para is the Khatzer Hamazik. And we know where do we know that from the title of the Rice Anish Mazda Khatzer Balabais, Shaloi Bishusa, Bishala Bishus. If one goes ahead and enters into a Khatzer of an owner without his uh, without his permission, right? So if uh, I go ahead and I trespass onto uh, Yigal's house, I'm looking for my golf ball, and uh, I'm in his backyard, the Nakhoshara Shal Balabais, and then his animal comes over and gores me and kills me. Umais, Ashor, Biskila, Ubalab Termina Kaif. Right, the animal is stoned, and the owners are putter. However, Yiga will be putter from paying kaifer. So Balin to remain a kaifer in my time. But what's the reason why the owners, all right, you knows whose property was on is putter from paying the kaifer, from paying the payment of the person's debt? My time, dumber lay, for see my uh, boys, right? What are you doing in my backyard? Yeah, I had a fence, I had a backyard, and everything was properly protected. You jumped over the fence and got in my backyard to get your golf ball. Well, that's on you. So let the ox, quote unquote, say, right? My boy, Bashusi, right? Let him also say the same thing, right? Why are you in the, the you know, in, in the backyard where the shore is? It was your fault that you died, and therefore the animal shouldn't be killed. 
So, so I want you to say, "Ali, katala leim rinan." Right? Rather, was because when it comes to the, the 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 killing of an animal or a, when a person dies, then we don't use that svara. Right? We don't use the svara of what are you doing in my rishos. So, new subject. How easy to be uh, tarbu? So there was these goats in the in the, the, the house of tarbu. The havi mafsidi lay the rav yisef. They used to go ahead and cause damage to rav yisef to his property, eat his stuff. Amar lebai zil emaluhu go ahead and lemarayu. The Latsinai, uh, the Latsinai, who, right? Go ahead, and they should go ahead and lock them up, you know, to, to protect, you know, build a fence around this goat so they don't get out and, and, and eat other people's property. So I'm like, am I What's the purpose of me going there and telling them, Diazina? If I go ahead and tell them, I'm really, they can tell me, Lig Dormar, Gedira, uh, Biare. You know what? You know, Rav Yasef, you're, you're complaining. Why don't you, Rav Yasef, build a fence around his property? They're going to tell me that, right? Diaz Linan, right? Diaz Linan, uh, Lido Mark, right? V. Goddard, so it says that if that's the case, that in other words, a person is really, he's responsible to go ahead and protect his own crops and therefore fence it off. V. Goddard, uh, V. Goddard, and that says, all right, Shane the Chaib Rahman, Hechim Shkachisla, right? What would be the case over there where you find it? In other words, if it's always on the Nizak's responsibility, you know, is, uh, I should go ahead and fence it properly, so therefore you should be high for, uh, for, 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 for Shane. So Mar says no. Shachadra Inami did not feel good to believe. In other words, no. Even if the guy fenced it properly, maybe there were times where the other person is still chay. Because why? Because maybe the animal animal burrowed underneath, and therefore mm-hmm. I did everything I need to do to protect my land. Mm-hmm. But your animal burrowed underneath, mm-hmm. so therefore you're chay to go ahead and pay for Shane or Inami did not feel good to believe. Or maybe the fence fell overnight, and therefore <clears throat> in the middle of the night I wasn't aware. I did everything I was supposed to do. And therefore, when it caused the damage at night, after the fence fell, it was nothing on the owner. And therefore, the owner of the animal is chayv. And Machis of Yasef, he did Rabba, so Rav Yasef announces some say Rabba, the Silky and the Ayah, or the Nachti and the Tesai, right? Those who go up there to sell, or those who come uh, from Erso down to Bavel. Hand easy to Shuka, they used to go ahead and, you know, certain days in the market, they would sell a meat. So these goats are the Shurkam Afside, that, uh, um, Cause damage by uh, continuing eating, you know, within the days of the market sales where they would check them and sell its meat. Uh, but they would eat from other people's property. We would warn them two or three times and, you know, to, to stop it, to lock up their animals and eat size, size. If they listen to you, then yes, be low. And if not, I mean, lay, tiv, amas chasa, the kebos is it. They will say, you know what? We're going to take your animal, we're going to check the animal now. And we'll sell it as is. And obviously, you might not be able to get top dollar when all the buyers come to the market. But since you're causing damage, we're not going to leave the animals around uh, until the market day. And therefore, we'll just go ahead and check your animals out and sell the meat uh, today uh, because, you, you know, your animals are, are continuing to you know cause damage. Fine. Nine mission. Mishnah says, mm-hmm. What is a time? What is a muad? So, muad kol sheidah b'shloisha yami. So muad is something that they wore three different days, right? That uh, they testified that his, his animal gored three different days. The tam, and when does it become a tam? Mishiach zabashloshiyami did Rabbi Yudah. When he has the opportunity to go ahead and gore, and it does not, three different days, then it goes back to the category of tam. Did Rabbi Yudah. Rabbi Meir, Rabbi Meir. Muad, shiyidah bashloshiyami. Muad is when they went ahead and testified at three different times. Times, not days, times, I mean, the time, kol sheyeh hatinoikis, meshamshim, bo, eno, right? When does it come a time? When he got kids Mercy. playing with his horn, a nice dog, or kids playing his horn, and it doesn't go ahead and gore. So you see that this animal no longer is a goring animal because it would have gored in that situation. Regarding time, okay, it could be after one time, and then he's for three days not doing anything, right? That's, that's your call. So it's got to be three times. Which uh, for Tom, Tom. In, in, in order to go to re- go to go back, no, every, everything always starts at Tom, right? To reverse, so Lachare only says right one time, right one. Lachare, that's what it says. So let's see the Gemara. Zuck the Gemara. So my time with Rabbi Yehuda. What's the reason going to Rabbi Yehuda, who seems to say it's significant dates? Shloshi Yamim, not Shloshi Yamim. So my time to Rabbi Yehuda. So it says. So I'm just looking at the pasuk for a second. It says the Yimshor Naga Fu Mitmol Shilshom Who are the Balav? Right, the loyish mirena. So it says over there, if the if the animal gores, mitmol shilshom, like from yesterday, right? Previous occurrences. So mitmol is chad is one. Mitmol from yesterday, right? Is tre is two, and shilshom is tlasa. 
So three times, it has to gore in the past three mm -hmm. times. And then it says, mm -hmm. and the owners didn't do it, right? So also, it's to come to uh, teach you that the fourth time would now be Mu'ah. So it has to be three days, and then the fourth time is a Mu'ah. And Rav Amar, Tumal Mitmol Chak, right? Uh, Tumal Mitmol is only one, and Shilshaim is Trey is two, Vlaishmereno, Haidna Chaif, right? And it doesn't, uh, you know, after two times, and the third time is already a Mu'ah. Mm -hmm. So that was Rabbi Yudah. So the Machlegi Rabbi Yudah, days, how many days? Some say uh, you need three days to make it, uh, you know, now it's a Chazaka, right? For the fourth time. And the, uh, and the and the Rava says now two times to make it a third time to be the muad. <laughs> Rabbi Mayer. So what are Rabbi Mayer? My time. The time learned by some Rabbi Mayer. So he says Rabbi Mayer. Richak. Ah. So he says Richak nigi chayisa kayev. So here nigi chayisa lokish. Okay. So if an animal gores three days in a row, right? It says days, right? Three days in a row, right? <laughs> So if an animal gores three days in a row, it's now, this is its behavior. So if it does three times within a shorter period of time, certainly this is a goring animal. In other words, you, you don't got to wait for, you know, three different days. You know, certainly if the animal does it within a quick, you know, a uh, quick time period, then, uh, uh, was it uh, 72 hours? Right, that's three days, right? 72 hours, then certainly it should, uh, you know, make it a move on. Right, so he says it's a kol shikate. It's a svara that yes, I know the Torah says days, but a kol shikate if it does within a quicker period of time. Similarly, so zava techiach shericha riyasa tmeya kira riyasa taira. Well, let's look at a zava, right? A woman who is a zava, zava gadola, like she she bleeds, right? So it has to be three different days that she bleeds, right? Not let's say it's all on the same day, so it's nothing, right? So Huh? Well, it's one, right? In other words, it doesn't make her a zava by all in one day. So, therefore, your whole svar is blown up, right? We over here by zava you need three different days, and it re if you go ahead and you you bring it together, right? Kiro, right? The her, 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 her rios, right? That doesn't make her a zava quicker. So you can't say the same thing by a short. It has to be three days. <laughs> Three days, if it's locked in a tent, and it doesn't, it's not going to go, there's nothing to go. So every time it goes out once in a board, and then right. two months later, it got out again in a board. So each time it had the opportunity to go, but to me, that'd be more of a more than, and it was how many days it's locked up. It doesn't mean right, but it, anymore. It just right, but according to what we're saying, if an animal gores, if it's left open, right, the, the guy never watches the animal. And the first day it gores 20 times, the second day it gores five times, whatever it is, 20 times again, right? Oh. It's still not a move, right? No, but he's right. But even, if, but even if it has the opportunity and it does it all, all that time, it's not, right? According to what opinion, then you need dates. So, Amelahat, Harehu Aymer, it says, when it comes to a Zav, now it comes to a Zav, is different than a Zav, right? By a Zav, uh, any emission he has, even if it's within one day, so it has to be three emissions, right? Even if it's in one day, it's counted as three. It's not like a woman. Woman is days, but a Zav is reals, right? Amount of times. So it says, So it says, So it says, so the word vizos excludes a zava. That's why a zava is not tamei if she sees three times a day because it's a miyad in the pasuk when it comes to a zav, right? There's a zava, right, and a zav, right, female and male, right. So by the uh, by the zav, so there's a miyad in the pasuk. That's why it's different. So Gemara says, "Mimai the high vizos the mute zava merios." Who says the word vizos comes to exclude a zava if she has three rios one day? Maybe it means maybe it means could come to tell you that this is how a zav becomes tame by seeing three times in a day. But if it's three different days, it wouldn't be anything, right? Maybe it comes to be So now we have a positive. It says the zav is similar to zavo. So So compared to a, man, uh, a male to a female. So maki right? Zav is the zav and keva. Maki and keva. So we make a, a comparison between Zakhla and the Kava. Man Kava Biyamim, just like in the Kava in these three days. Avzakha Biyamim. So to a Zub can also become Tame for three days. 
I have a leakage in the cave of Lazaka. So why don't you make a, the same hackish, a comparison from a, a Zava, a female, to a Zachar, to a Zav. Ma Zachar Barrios, Ah, in the cave of Barrios. Right? Just like a, a Zachar is the amount of times that he sees the emission. So to the cave of, to be the amount of times she sees blood. So it says, Hamid Rachmana. No, the Torah is, uh, uh, excludes that because it says Bezos. It says Bezos. And therefore, a woman is not uh, 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 Rios. So it says, Ma Rois. So who says the Darshan this way? So Mestavar Kai Berios, Bemai Berios, right? The positive by Zos is referring to times seen. So therefore, if it's saying, right, uh, the Zos, this is what it's referring to times seen, the Rios. So therefore, we're going to exclude Rios. And I would say, Rios don't work by a Zava. So Kai Berios, my Yamim, but now you're suggesting that, that the Pasuk time of Rios, we're going to exclude that the Zav cannot, you know, for three days. That doesn't make sense. So therefore, Going back, so we're able to disprove that, and we say no, it's a it's 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 a it's a it's a, it's a pasuk of uh, that uh, by a zav, you can't learn from there, and therefore Rabbi Meir's svara uh, lachara uh, stands that if an animal gores three days in a row, it's a, it's a muad. Certainly, if it gores three times in a day, it'll be a muad. So, and it doesn't have to be three days in a row, by the way, just be three different times, three different days, right now. Tanarabaran is a muad. What is a muad? Kol shidu bo shloisha yam. Right. So we have a price that says what is a muad? Something that was that uh, you know they testified it for three different days. There is any there is any uh, time schedule between them? Meaning it's a day, uh, three Doesn't make a difference. Three years. Doesn't make a difference. Doesn't make a difference. In three years. Right. Doesn't make a difference. Okay. Right. So even if it's not locked up. And it right. does it one day, then six months later, it does another day. Once it's, it's done three times, this animal is, is this animal is a muad. It's on his record. Right. <laughs> now, so a So what is a muad? So something that tells about three different days. The tam. All right, now the tam. She you had tino yes man. Uh, uh, shushin bow of a no yeah. Did Rabbi Yisi says Rabbi Yisi. So a muad is something of three different days. All right. Now remember the Mishnah, right? The Mishnah says, according to Rabbi Huda, right? Rabbi Huda said three days is a muad, and three times afterwards, and he doesn't is a tam. That was Rabbi Huda. The mayor says three times is a muad, and kids playing with it makes it a tam, and it's not going into tam. So over here, Rabbi Yaisi uses one from each. He says three days is a muad. And the baby's playing with it, makes it a time. Did Rabbi Yisrael, Rabbi Shimon, and Rabbi Shimon, I'm here. Rabbi Shimon says, "Muad kol shi dibol shlosha tamim." Anything that gores three times, like Rabbi Meir, lo yamer shlosha yamim el lachazara bilva. And in order, the one that says three days, days is only making it to revert back to becoming a tam, which is like Rabbi Yehuda. So I'm Rabbi Nachman, I'm Rabbi Avad, the Barav, halach Rabbi Yehuda the Muad. Right, the is like Rabbi Huda the Muad, Shah Rabbi Yaisi, Maidala. Right, that is, he says, Rabbi Yaisi is Maidala, uh, and it has to be three different days. If I look at a mayor, but Tom, and the Lakh is like a mayor when it reverts back with the kids playing with it, Shah Rabbi Yaisi, Maidala, and Rabbi Yaisi agrees with Rabbi Mayor Svar of becoming a Tom. So I'm a little bit of a Nach, and I blame him, Ma, I look at a mayor. Why is the Lakh like a mayor, but Muad? Shah Rabbi Shimon Maidala, right, Rabbi Shimon says that's do with times. And I look at Rabbi Huda, but Tom, and the Lakh is like Rabbi Huda when it comes to a Tom. Shah Rabbi Shimon Maidala, Rabbi Shimon says, no, it has to be three times in order for it to revert back. So I hold like Rabbi Yaisi, Rabbi Yaisi, Nimukhimo, that he has all his rise and his proofs and everything with him. So therefore, whatever Rabbi Yaisi says versus Rabbi Shimon, we hold like Rabbi Yaisi. No, there's uh, no. no, there's a Tana. This is the Tana Rabbi Yaisi. I think it's Rabbi Yaisi Glili, I assume. No, the Rabbi Yaisi uh, from Huh? Halapta. Is that the standard? Whatever Rabbi Yaisi was. Well, okay, yeah. yeah. All right. Basically, it was before or after that. Well, before. before, but he was an earlier one. Okay, yeah, that's a figure. Yes, he was, he was like, Zudos, a, wasn't he? Huh? Wasn't he one of the Zudos? Yeah, he was a contemporary. That's uh-huh. uh-huh. okay. Uh, right. Because usually Rabbi Shimon, I don't know because he was like, yeah, yeah, they were all contemporary. There's another mayor, right. him and the Yossi. They were all Rabbi Kiva Stumbling. Right, but the, the, Rabbi Yossi, this Rabbi Yossi is, is that one. Is that one? Yeah. Okay. Um. Fine. He's one of the. One of the three, so the Give a second. Uh, uh, oh, uh, fine. Um, okay, fine. Yeah. All right. Um, 
Fine. Ibodu, where Chav Dalad, Amad Aleph, smack him on the page. Ibodu, the question was asked. Shloishi Yomim Diktani. Is it Liyude Torah or Liyude Gavra? Is it for the purpose of going to head and uh, and making the this animal a muad, mm-hmm. or is it for the purposes of making the person who owns it a muad, right? For so make him a muad that his animal is going right, um, right. In other words, then therefore he needs three different days. In other words, three different times. Words, my animal gores multiple times a day, so all of a sudden I just. Right, you know, I just found out about it. What am I supposed to do? So the Mayan Afkamina, the Yasut Plosa Kiti Bisadi Bechad Yom. Right, if three different groups come in, you know, in, in one day, so you might lead the Torah Muat Miyai. So if it if it's for the purpose of going for the animal, then right, then this animal would be a Muat. Now, let's say it gores three different days, but everyone comes to testify to court. Right? Oh, your animal gore on Monday, your animal gore on Tuesday, your animal gore on Wednesday. And everybody comes on Thursday to say that. So now this animal is a muad because it's animal gore in three different days. The Michael had Gabra right? But if it's to warn the person that he's that, that he's not a muad for not watching his animal, right? Right? Well, you're only telling me now uh, thanks to today's Thursday, you should have told me on Monday, then I could have done something. So in other words, he could only do something now once people testify against him. So even if he gored three days in a row, it's only be one strike now that the, that the owner is warned. <clears throat> so Tashma, come and listen. So a person is not considered to be a muad, or excuse, right? One is not, the shore is not made in muad until they testify in front of the owners and in front of Basin. If they went ahead and the warrant, in front of the base, but not in front of the owners, or in front of the owners, and not in front of the base. Then, ain't an asa muad. He is not made a muad. Ad she the bob of fnei base and fnei bal. So both have now. Eidu shnai brishayna. If two come and testify right uh, against the, the first goring, the shnai and then afterwards shnai the shnia, the shnai the shlishis harei kan shlosha edios. And these are now three different separate testimonies. The hey edus achas lahazam. And now they are all considered to be one edus when it comes to hazam. In other words, if it turns out that they're all lying and they're all in different place, so they were trying to go ahead and get this uh, nezek shalit, right? They were all, all, all together in on this. And therefore, then they would all become edin zaymin that they were trying to mechai the guy nezek shalit. Now, if the first group who testified at the one on Monday, they were became Zemin because they were someone else on Monday. How can they do this? Right. Now, as they would say, well, you know, there there were other two. You know, they, they were just one of three, and therefore they're Potter. Uh, uh, and I was since he would be Potter. You know, now even if the the other two are against him, he would never. Never paid Nazik Shalin because only two strikes against him. And therefore, the people are Turin. Means this Kashnia, if also the second group is also Zom Emes, Harekan Edus Achas, there's still one remaining, right? Vu Pater, Vehain Turin. Means the Kashlishi Zom Emes, if all three of them are Zom Emes, Kulan Chayavin, all of them are Chayav, Valzet, Nemar. And this is says Vasisan Loy Kashir Zom. It says, do to them as they chose to do. Now, if you say that mm-hmm. now, maybe over here, now in order for a person to become, uh, uh, so the Gemara is going with the understanding that in order for the shore to, or the person to become Muad, it has to gore and they has to testify to the owner. And now the owner knows, and now that's strike one. And then it has to gore a second time and they have to warn about the second time. And then he's, you know, then, then you tell him basin, that's strike number two, and so on and so forth, strike number three, right? When it comes to the animal, you don't necessarily, you don't need that break, right? It can just be uh, done three times. It's a goring animal. You're not going to be just in the third time. It has to be a third time, but it, all the basin can all be done simultaneously. In other words, it all can be done at the same time where there is no break in between where it, it, where it goes ahead and gores another time. In other words, I don't need to be warned by my animal for the animal to muad after the first goring, in order to watch it, then it gores it again. If the animal gored three times, and the owner was only informed about it afterwards, so it's a negligent animal, it's not a negligent owner. But most, most animal go a few times in a row. Well, so, 
Right, so, but, but so, then it'd be a goring animal. Right. So then it has to be. An echinami, right? An echinami. So it's a goring animal. It's a goring animal. It may, maybe the animal had a bad day, right? right. And uh, that's it. And too bad. But I didn't understand the part with that in the zone. So, so this Bryce over here says, right, that the, the, if all three is. groups are in the zone, so normally when, when, when groups testify against another person, they're trying to get them a punishment. Okay, now this punishment over here of Nezek Shelling can only occur if all three groups are found to be Zomim, right? Three. All three. The first group was found to be Zomim. One day. One dozen, it's not enough. If two become Zomim, two set, two groups, not enough. All three, now they can be punished, right? Because the first group can say, I, I didn't do anything. I, I, I'm my own. Right, I I, mm -hmm. I just can't my own. I, because well, because if there's just one testimony against the person that your animal gored, it's still chatzinazek. What do you want from me? Right, I I I didn't. Right, so now, I see. What the third group? The third group is the third group. So let's see. So 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 let's let's see the Gemara now. So it must be talking about if we're talking about all three groups, it must be that all three sort of were in cahoots. That one oh. person was bringing. So let's see. So you might leave the Torah shop here if you say, you know, did we get thrown off? Or were yeah, you... yeah. All right, that's okay. For myself, so. Yeah. 